Hello everyone and welcome to Dr. Barnes's very fast review of uh, the archaeology of Ephesus. I have more than a hundred pictures to show you and a uh, good thing for you. I have lost my notes and I can't remember a whole lot of stuff about uh, each one of these photos but I thought it would be very useful as we're talking about Acts and as we're talking about Paul uh, when we get to the Pauline letters Ephesus is a very important city because John is from Ephesus, which is uh, the reading from this week, and uh, most people think that uh, John wrote the letters and the gospel from Ephesus, which is the city that you're looking at here. Uh, we can see, if you can follow my uh, mouse pointer, these little guys here are what uh, made it all possible. And we're going to see, back over here and right here, they were able to rebuild uh, the buildings, and they made this whole area into a tourist site. So there's a lot of pictures that are very, very cool from ancient Ephesus. Okay, this kind of looks like a painting or a, a picture out of an Indiana Jones movie, but this is how they did it back then. These steps are called strata and they analyzed sorry this computer has a mind of its own and it's going slower because I'm recording anyway uh, these little steps that the guys are on are strata and the archaeologists uh, go through every strata and they develop a history of Ephesus or whatever area they happen to be digging in now this is the excavation of the temple at Ephesus, the temple to Artemis, which is one of the uh, Greek goddesses. We'll see a picture of her here in a minute. Um, and one thing they noticed whenever they were um, digging deeper and deeper, they found that the Ephesians had been worshiping Artemis since the place had been inhabited by human beings. 10,000 BC. They kept finding altar on top of altar on top of altar and it was a big deal back then to find the uh, the high altar to Artemis because it was one of the seven wonders of the world way back when. So uh, this is a picture of as, as they were discovering it. This is the original ex excavation. Now this is the original um, house that they built over the excavation area uh, as they were uh, bringing in all the material. Uh, the sensitive stuff could be kept there and it was a uh, housing, I believe, for the archaeologists. And this is all, this is from a German website. Everything back here. Uh, well, actually it looks like it's, I found finally the English version of this site. <laughs> But anyway, this is a, um, a Christian uh, burial place, I believe. It's called the uh, Cave of the Seven Sleepers. And it looks like a Christian church to me, but it, I don't have my notes. And this is the original excavation site. And you can see right down the middle, there are uh, train tracks where they would haul uh, the material that they excavate. And you can see... Uh, they just kind of lined up the material that they would use to reconstruct uh, the buildings. And notice there are no buildings. There's only a few uh, columns. Now, this looks like it's a much more modern picture. Uh, back here, you know, the, the aspect of the picture looking out looks like, to me, it's the Celsus Library, which we'll see in a minute. And... Uh, over here is a road, and I believe that's called the Harbor Road. And here's another road here, and uh, to the left is a big agora, which is a uh, ancient marketplace. Now this is really awesome. We're going to see some more pictures here. Now this is what I referred to a minute ago as the Celsus Library. Uh, it wasn't there originally. They didn't find it like this. They they rebuilt it. And it's two stories, and you can see columns and artwork up here. 
if you're following my mouse. And then right down the road, you'll see this big covering. It's a covering of a structure exactly like this, only this one is much, much better restored and they're protecting it from the weather. So you can see side by side the uh, excavation area and the area they chose to, uh, to let be out in the weather. And you can see the road here, Harbor Road, and then the Celsus Library where that picture was taken. You know, remember that we saw that road here? You can see my mouse, hopefully. I forgot to turn my mouse highlighter on. And those are called terrace houses. And they're, they're very important because it's not just one house. It's a whole lot of houses. You know, this is, uh, this is back a, a bit from uh, the houses. It's taken on top of, a, of a, another hill looking down at the city. Now, wealthy people and poor people lived very close to each other. All of this right here, where my mouse is, down by the road, all of these would have been shops, you know, like uh, Paul making tents. He would have made it right in here. And back in the back, you have the wealthier people. And if you think about it, this is where it floods. You know, the water comes down. The rich people have always lived on top of the hill. This here, uh, I, do, I can't remember what, what it is. I don't want to uh, guess. Well, I think it's the, the Fountain of Trajan, but I'm not entirely sure. Now, this is a, a close-up of the Celsus Library, and you have a forum right here. People could uh, debate, make big business deals, and scholars would be uh, back here studying, uh, just like me. I, never, I attended TCU for seven years, and in that time, our, our football game our football games became uh, higher and higher in attendance and I know this because as I was walking to the library on those mornings more and more students and alumni were walking to the TCU football games whenever I needed to finally see a, a doctor I had to ask around and find out where the uh, the doctor's office was because we had a, a doctor on campus I kept on getting told it's right across the street from the stadium and I tell them, the only place I've been since I've been at TCU is the library. I was a PhD student. One time, there was a fire drill, and me and a fellow New Testament PhD student were sitting beside each other in the library. And we looked at each other, thinking, it probably isn't a fire. We're going to take all of our notes and unplug our laptops and shut them down properly before we get out of the library. So people were going crazy getting out of there. And uh, we were calmly putting our, our notes away because we couldn't afford to lose all of our work. So uh, I can empathize with the scholars who spent their days and nights here in the library. Uh, you weren't allowed to take books out of it. Uh, there is an oath written somewhere around here. It said, we will take no book from here because we have solemnly sworn it. And uh, it was also a pretty elite club. You know, they wouldn't let you in unless they knew uh, they knew what you were doing. It wasn't for uh, poor people to just wander in and get an education. So, and this is uh, some arcs here. I don't know the history behind that, but none of this, as I said, was here. Uh, whenever they were excavating, they had to pull all these stones out of the out of the earth, and they pieced them all together uh, brick by brick. Okay, as I said, uh, Ephesus is a very popular tourist place because it's very important to Christians, and they have rebuilt it, and it looks like a bunch of ancient ruins uh, left in really, really good condition. At night, it looks amazing. It's all it, all these columns are lit up, but uh, this, like I said, I believe is Harbor Road, and um, all of these little pillars would have gods on them as you're walking toward the forum and the library. Oh, and also, you should know, most of this wasn't here whenever Paul was there. This is all Roman uh, remains. They're not Greek remains. Uh, they, the library, for example, was built about 200 CE, and um, also the, the theaters were a lot smaller whenever Paul was there. And we'll, we'll see the theaters in a minute. They're awesome. Okay.
That's the last slide in that. Okay, this is the terrace house that I was talking about, where you have uh, the ruined houses right beside the houses that are covered. Uh, okay, I was wrong. This isn't the, the. This said it was a terrace house, but. Um, okay, that's why they said it was a terrace house. I wasn't wrong, it was a library. Okay. Now for my pictures. Okay, this is called A Really Fast Ephesus Experience by Dr. Barnes. I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. I am going to post the PowerPoint presentation of this so you can look at the pictures at your leisure. I just wanted to give you a escorted uh, version where you have a professor uh, telling you as much as he knows about all of these pictures, which isn't much. Okay, I don't know what this is off the top of my head. Okay, this is the theater. This is a, a big theater. There are two of them in Ephesus. This is a hill. Um, I'm going to have to pause the recording for a second. Okay, this is the theater, and uh, as you can see, it's really big. Uh, I believe that during the, during the time of Paul, it was probably right here, you know, just uh, one level. And then as the city expanded, and as people wanted to show their wealth, they built uh, up to the uh, theater to where it is now. And this is the Harbor Road. Go, and the reason why it's called the Harbor Road is because Ephesus was a harbor town, it, which is uh, the kind of towns that Paul liked. And over here is a, a uh, agora. It's very big. And another smaller agora. Agora means marketplace. Let's see if it gives me... Sorry. Okay. This is just so difficult. <laughs> Cover up that little... See, it won't let me use my little highlighter. Okay, I'll just cut this 